note taking apps on where is your iPhone? I don't have one. But note taking apps on you can't talk about phone apps with a Samsung A whatever version that is. Well, for Obsidian, it doesn't matter what phone you have. It matters to me. Tough. The recent version one update made a lot of changes to PC which you did a video on, but it was followed up by a big change for phone and tablet users. Tablets or iPads? Same thing. Oh, no they're not. They are for the purpose of this video. Obsidian can be as simple or as complex as you want to make it. Just like on the PC then. But it has some additional features to make the mobile or tablet experience easy. I like the sound of that. When you were on the app, you have the swipe gestures, left and right. Ah, to open the side panels like on the PC. Yes, with all the core plugins and community plugin buttons. So I can use all the plugins on my phone. Kind of. It is a yes or no question. Well, some community plugins weren't built with mobile in mind. Ah, so the app is pretty bad then. No, only if you rely on community plugins that don't work or necessarily work as well on the device you're using. All the core plugins are fine though, right? Yeah. The ribbon that's on the left sidebar on the PC has actually been relocated to the bottom right on the phone. So it's available, just move. Yeah. What about the new tabs feature? Well, that is the exciting part. They're, they're down the bottom of the screen on your phone with a number for the amount of tabs you have. Ooh, that's nice. It makes switching tabs or creating tabs really easy. Do they save though when you close down the app? Yes, however, if you use the daily notes plugin, it will sort of refresh whatever tab you're on to open the daily note. Wouldn't that overwrite the tab though? Yes, that's why I've turned that setting off in the daily notes core plugin so I can just keep the tab. But off. how do you get to your daily notes then? That's another special feature on the phone or tablet version. There is a swipe down gesture which you can add one command to. I am a no coder. <laughs> what what's a command? Well, you know in the command palette. No, the hotkey menu. Oh yeah, you can add hotkeys to things. Oh, so like opening links and, and bolds and tabs and stuff like that. Yeah, well any command thing I can hotkey can be configured. A what? Added to the swipe down gesture. And you add the daily note command as the swipe down gesture. Exactly. So how do the hotkeys work? Well, they don't. <laughs> well, that's pretty sh- But they are done in a different way. How? With a toolbar. Which is? Which is a bar across the bottom of your screen above the keyboard, which essentially gives you hotkey buttons. All customizable, like on the PC. Well, sort of. Ah, it's rubbish. No, you, you can add any command to it, but if they're community plugin commands, then there's no icon for them, just a, a question. So yeah, it's just rubbish. And I use loads of hotkeys and I don't want to be scrolling left and right for days to try and push the button. If you let me finish, there's a community plugin. Another one. That lets you add more than one line. Okay. And lets you add icons on any command. Even the core commands? Yes, even the core commands. Okay. That's pretty nice. But what happens on PC though? Well, this is where it's pretty clever. It doesn't do anything to the PC. Ah, so it's only active on the phone and the tablet slash iPad. Okay, that, that is pretty nice. Now, guess what the plus button is for? Creating a new page. Search. <laughs> Why is it a plus then? I don't really know, probably because you can create pages through the quick switcher, but it's search. So it is the quick switcher. Yes, letting me search my entire vault. Yes, and the quick switcher is much faster than the global search. So using search isn't any good. Well, with much larger vaults and lots of different blocks, it can be quite slow, which is why I don't bother using global search on my phone. So search isn't great. Global search can be slow if you've got a big vault, but the quick switcher works perfectly fine. Okay. But for the tablet or iPad apps, the search is perfectly fine, just like PC, assuming your device isn't rubbish. <laughs> I can also see the task query working on your page. Yeah, that community plugin is perfectly functional. So all the linking, task completion. Yeah, it all works. So do you use it for your tasks? Yep, and with the quick add community plugin, I can add a task just by the push of a button. Ah, oh, by using the toolbar and the quick add commands. Exactly. So you push on the app to open the toolbar, then push on the command to open up the quick add and then add the task. And because in the quick add command, I have a priority in there as well, I can add that as well. And that quick ad is configured the same way as it is on PC. All of my quick ads are. 
What about the speed of the app? Well, ah, this is where it goes shit. Seriously, stop butting in. But it is bad, right? If we forget about Obsidian Sync for the moment, the paid sync add-on, yeah, the first load is pretty quick. First load time? So when you open the app for the first time. Right. But if you have it in the background, it is like instant. So you keep Obsidian open on your phone all the time? Yeah. Okay. However, if you use Obsidian Sync, it can take a bit of time to load up the vault on the first load. How long? It depends how many changes you've made. Changes? Yeah, so if you make lots of changes on another device, obviously your phone needs to sync up all of those changes, so the more changes, the longer it takes. Wait, so that sync could take minutes? If you've made lots of changes and you haven't updated the vault in a while, yeah, and it can take longer if you like, spend a year out not using a device. That is pretty stupid. Well, Obsidian is local first. Oh wait, so my entire vault is on my phone? Yes. That is how it works offline. So, so I can work anywhere? Yep, wherever, whenever, however you want with no interruptions. And it will sync back to all the other devices. When you have internet access again and Obsidian is loaded on the device, yeah. What? I add things to Obsidian on my PC with phone and PC having internet access and they sync almost instantly. If you disconnect your phone from the internet, PC still works fine, sync still works fine, but the update won't go to my phone until that goes online. And the same as if I work on my phone. Yeah, the PC will get the update when your phone goes back online and you've logged in on your PC to Obsidian. So if I always have internet on my phone and my PC, it basically works like a cloud app. Yes, but I don't want to pay for sync. You can use loads of other things. I'll leave a link in the description to a post that goes into more detail. Yeah, but it's too expensive. But you can get a discount for sync and publish if you're eligible. No, I, w I want it like completely free. You could also share an Obsidian account because it has five sync vaults, but then others get my notes. No, because each sync vault can have a password. So if they don't know the password, they can't sync to the vault. Ooh, that's sneaky. The main disadvantage is that everyone is using the same Obsidian account. Ah, so I would need to trust them if it's my account, or they'd need to trust me. Yeah, so a, a business Obsidian account, or a group of friends, or maybe family. But doesn't all this mean my device needs, like, massive storage? Only if your vault has, like, a lot of notes, uh, and loads and loads of community plugins. I have around 5,000 or 6,000 notes with 10 community plugins, and my phone works fine, and it's not even got that much storage on it. On a Samsung A71, I think? Right. For, for the iPad or tablet, how does it feel? Well, the tablet or iPad app is kind of like a hybrid of PC and mobile. But you said it's like the phone app. It is, but because the screen is bigger, you can actually see the tabs as tabs, like the PC. And the ribbon on the left side, like the PC. Which means the quick switcher isn't a button at the bottom, but it is in the side ribbon, right? Yeah. Or you could put it in the swipe down command. Oh, so it still has the swipe gestures. Yep. And the toolbar. Nice. And the advanced toolbar plugin thing still works. Exactly. Giving you all the shortcuts and hotkeys. Okay. So going back to the storage thing then, because it is local first. Yeah. How does all that work? Well, it's exactly the same as the PC. You have a folder, which is a vault. And then inside that folder, you have a dot obsidian folder with all the other settings and stuff. Oh, so like themes and hotkeys and settings and plugins, all of that is synced across devices? If you enable that in the sync settings, yes, and they are put on the device. Yep, it's exactly the same even with audio recordings. Wait, what? Yeah, so if you use the audio recorder core plugin on your phone or whatever device, then it records the audio on the device and sync it over to the PC. Exactly. However, there is a file size limit to sync, which is... Which is 100 megabytes at the moment, which works for most of the files that I'm using, like all the screen sharing on my phone. Wait, so you, you, are, you are using Obsidian Sync to send over your screen recordings? Yeah, I do the recording on my phone, save it in the vault, and then just sync it over to my PC. Nice. Yeah, and when typing or writing on a tablet or iPad, it works as expected. But you're not a big iPad or tablet user. No, but when I do use it, I don't find any issues, any problems or anything like that. Okay. However, I do find moving the cursor a little bit frustrating. Because on PC you have a mouse. Well, that, and I use the arrow keys to go like up and down lines. Is there a way on tablet or iPad to make it 
easier? Yes, you can add a command into the toolbar and then you can just push the button to go up and down lines or move the carrot wherever. Ah, clever. Clever. And with all the other commands that are available that you can just add to the toolbar, you can have an experience on the iPad or tablet and the phone that's very, very similar to the PC. Instead of using hotkeys, just use the toolbar. So why don't you use the iPad more? Because PC is just better. Eh. Having said that, I am on my phone a lot, so when I'm out walking the dog, I'll take notes on it, or when I'm at football, I'll take notes there, and when I want to add a new task, I'll add the task using the quick add into my daily notes. So I do use my phone a lot, and it syncs to my PC. So it's literally just like a notebook for you. Yes. This video is a shorter video included in my online course where I go into more nuanced workflows and specific use cases of using Obsidian and other tools like Zotero and Morgan and things like that. And if you're interested in that, there's more information in the description below.